Hi, I'm Nell Sanders, and this is Tell It Like It Is, where all things controversial are covered. I'm sure you all have heard about the national clown craze, whether through social media, the news, or from Mr. Lombardi's announcement on Wednesday. These red-nosed rascals aren't just clowning around and have left a trail of face paint and terror in the hearts of Americans. So let me break this down for students. The frenzy started in South Carolina in August when children reported that creepy clowns were trying to lure them into the woods. Since then, there have been clown sightings in 25 states and counting. This seems like a hoax, right? Well, mostly. However, some cases are very real and scary. The most extreme case was a stabbing that occurred two weeks ago in Pennsylvania. But don't panic, because NHS and other schools across America have cracked down on everything clown-related. The superintendent, John Provost, even sent out a letter to parents warning them about the situation and not to allow their kids to dress up as clowns in school. So I interviewed some students on their opinions, and here is what they thought. Can you state your name? Sure. My name is Rachel Stavely Hale. I'm the mathematics department chair. Phoebe Dressa. Um, my name is Samir Menrajigas, and I'm in ninth grade. Uh, I'm Sylvia Shred, and I am a junior. My name is Jasper Kesson, and I'm a senior here. Um, so I'm interviewing students about the clown craze that's going on right now. What's your opinion on clowns? I'm very pro clown. Um, I've heard that people are afraid of clowns. I'm actually really afraid of clowns. Um, I think it's pretty silly. I feel like it's fake, to be honest. They're entertainment for some people, and then some people get afraid of them. I do know that there's some shenanigans with people dressing up as clowns and terrorizing them. Something to do with some chasing and some knives. Well, it's almost like a social experiment. Do you think that they're friendly, or do they actually pose a threat? I would imagine maybe there's a small number of them that are genuinely threatening. I think that they actually pose a, a threat. I think that they're just trying to kind of pull a stunt. Mostly because of the um, Instagram that I saw, where like the bio was, um, we kill kids. They haven't done anything yet, so... This clown case has been one of the many events in 2016 that has caused mass hysteria, panic, and obsession. And this phenomenon isn't the only example of clowns in the media. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Tell It Like It Is. And again, I'm Nell Sanders, and I think creepy clowns are fake as fuck.